Cool. So we're joined now by Karen Gross, and we're going to talk about all things water, all things rain. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Good to see you again. You too. Uh, Karen is our water conservation manager over at uh, the water, water division. Water conservation specialist. Specialist over at the water division. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, oh, it's a nice promotion. I was going to say, but it, unfortunately, it's if, not it, mine. If, if, I, if we say it on City Hall Live, it becomes real, right? <laughs> uh, it becomes true. Uh, don't don't do that. That okay. gives me nightmares. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> so it's about to rain again outside right now as we speak. Um, the the next two days are predicted to be very heavy rainfall days. We've um, actually had great rains this spring and summer, un uncommonly. It's good. been nuts. It's been a yeah. record record year, hasn't it? In in many regards, it is. Mm -hmm. I saw in the paper the other day that we're almost two inches above mm. no, more, above, normal above normal for the month, and yeah. almost three inches above normal for the year today. Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty good. I saw somewhere that like the the month of May or the month of June was the the highest recorded rainfall in the United States uh, in recorded weather history. Oh, that may be. So there are still parts of the state, though, that are in drought. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, but it's definitely improved from where it was a year ago. Is it uh, El Nino? Is that what's causing all it the rain? It is the El Nino, okay. and, and the forecast is looking pretty good long range for the fall and winter. Um, although it sounds like the prediction is that come spring we may go back to dry uh, next year for yeah. the foreseeable yeah. future. Sure, so, yeah, sure. Um, conserving water is always good. We can't let the the, the salad days of, of rain, heavy, <laughs> heavy rainfall, tempt us into forgetting our our old habits and our old ways. Yeah. In other words, well, you know, one of the biggest things is people have the tendency to set up their irrigation systems in the spring. They just set it up and they basically forget. It. Assuming that it's going to be dry, just like it always is. And, you know, when we get in rain like this, your plants would rather have the rain anyway. Um, and so, you know, turn off your irrigation system. Mm -hmm. Or or if you don't want to have to fuss with it in future, um, look at getting some rain or soil moisture sensors to put on your oh, irrigation wow. controller. They can actually I didn't even know over, that was an option. Override the controller if the soil is already wet when enough. There's, when there's enough water. Oh, that's pretty neat. So and we offer rebates on those, which is even better. There we go. To to get the rebates, of course, you have to go through a water audit, and there's information about that on our website, Save which Water is Santa Santa Bay. Dot com. Dot com. Got yeah. it. All right. And um, so if, if you go to the website and, and pull the information, there's uh, first and foremost is the audit, which assesses your system, looks at where you need to make repairs, what efficiencies could be improved. And then the second phase is as you're either adding on these items or replacing your controller altogether with um, what they call an ET, evapotranspiration or weather-based smart controller. Mm -hmm. um, there's some pretty substantial rebates available for that. Um, so we, we always like to promote those. And especially when we're having weather like this, it's so great yeah. to have those sort of systems that will just turn it off just when it's not Have needed. it become something that you don't have to think about, you don't exactly. have to worry about. Yeah. Exactly. And it saves you money too if you're not yeah. running your irrigation system while it's raining outside. Yeah. Well, and the other thing we have too that we really should be promoting this time of year is, is our rainwater harvesting rebates. Mm. If you get rain barrels or, or a rainwater harvesting system with a cistern, um, there's some pretty substantial rebates available for that as well. Yeah. And um, you know, people don't think about it. You know, sometimes when we get rain, it's just a little tiny bit, you know, a quarter inch. What's that? Well, if you have a thousand square feet of roof, a quarter inch is 150 plus gallons. Yeah, enough to keep that garden nice and green for a pretty yeah, significant could, amount of time. You could water your tomatoes for a few weeks yeah, off of that. Yeah. So it, if we get an inch, they're actually predicting eight tenths of an inch today. An inch of rain on a thousand square feet of roof is over 600 gallons of water. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll fill up those barrels. Fill quick. up those barrels, and the barrels <laughs> keep it from evaporating, so you don't lose it once right. you capture and, it. And you know, there's a screen on top to keep debris out mm -hmm. and bugs out, mm -hmm. and um, you know, a, a qualifying rain barrel is going to have a spigot on it where you can attach a hose for watering. Yeah. Yeah. And um, 
and an overflow that allows you to direct the extra water to wherever you want it to go, mm -hmm. rather than having it, you know, wipe out your your garden sure. or or come back against your house and ruin your stucco. Yeah, and there are some great companies too locally that are doing some interesting things in terms of building. Uh, custom ones. Custom capture systems that fit into the architecture of the home so they don't stand out. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. Know, so if you're worried about that, then you know you can talk to one of those Yeah, folks. I mean, you can get a plain old rain barrel at Big Joe's or Ace, wherever, and that's as long as it meets the qualifications, you can get the rebate on that. But if you want something that looks like part of your home, there are actually companies here that'll design those systems for right you. Right into it, yeah. Yep. Pretty neat. Uh, I should say congratulations while you're here uh, to you guys at Water, but also I guess to all of us. Um, recently we made the big announcement that we dropped below 100 gallons per capita per That's day right. water usage in Santa Fe, which is just incredible if you think about it. It's especially incredible when you consider that the water that's used here by tourists, by people who work here but don't live here, those people aren't counted in the population. Yeah, but, but they're their using water, the water use yeah. is counted. And so um, it's just amazing to get below 100 gallons per person per day because of that. And to have come so far just since, what, 1995, I guess, when we were at 165, 168 yeah, gallons per capita. So huge improvement. And we can chalk that up to a lot of things, the, the rebates, the, the, you know, the yeah. low-flow toilet installations. Technology is yeah, technology. definitely the low-hanging fruit. When you can replace an old toilet with a new high-efficiency one, that's easy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know? Um, um, and changing the culture shift behavior too. behavior is the other part, yeah. though. People here do care about it. It's, it astounds me how many people do know how much water they use every day. Yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I'm really looking forward to once we have all the new meters in and the new billing system up and running, because people will be able to sign up um, to be able to access that information yeah. on a daily basis. Yep. Great. Fantastic. So, so the, and those, those installations are ongoing. We'll have some announcements about those coming out soon as well. Yeah. Source to wrap up. But um, SaveWaterSantaFe.com. Anything else you guys want to highlight today? Um, well, you know, there's if you see water waste happening, give us a call. Our water waste hotline is 955 4222. Mm -hmm. um, if you have questions about saving water, call our office. That number is 955 4225. You know, we, we love to talk to you. If you think you might have a leak, um, you can call customer service and they will start the process for getting you know, first the meter readers come out and check your meter and then next uh, we come out and actually go through your house with you and check for leaks and sometimes it's amazing what we find. Yeah, no, so. I have no doubt about it. No doubt about <laughs> it. Um, so, okay, great. And so sign up for a water audit, go to SaveWaterSantaFe.com, give them a call if you have questions. Right, um, and look at all the rebates that are there. Yeah. Um, you know, we didn't really talk about, but we have rebates for high efficiency toilets. Sure. And high efficiency clothes washers as well. Mm -hmm. Shower, isn't there a shower head rebate program? Um, no, actually though, you can get free high efficiency shower Shower heads through gas that's company what it is. Yeah, and that's through PNM yep. both. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and in fact, we're kind of partnering a little bit with PNM on. We'll be doing a. It'll be a double-sided bill insert going into PNM bills and into our bills later this year. Um, talking about the rebates the that shower, the each different. other has available. Yeah, perfect. So. Perfect. Um, I'm excited um, about that. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Keep up the good work. It's obviously something that's that's very, very important to our community. It is. It is. You know, we do a lot of educational stuff as well. Um, you know, children's poster contest, children's that's water right. fiesta. Yeah, right. You know, we have booths at community days. All that. We're actually going to be out at the. Um, the, the new park when oh, it opens. Oh, great, yeah, Swan we'll Park. We'll have a booth out at Perfect. Swan Park. Perfect, that's going to be so. fantastic. That's going to be a fun day, too. Mm -hmm. We're looking forward to that park opening. So, so plenty of ways to keep in touch, plenty of ways to learn more about how you can save water in Santa Absolutely. Fe. Absolutely. There is so much information on our website. It is. It's I mean, a great pages site. and it pages. It truly is, yeah. And there's links to all sorts of other 
useful and interesting things as well. Great. Well, thanks so much for being here, Karen. Come back soon. Sure. Keep us in, updated. This is something we want to talk about on a regular basis because we want to keep reminding people that it, it's got to be at the top of your mind in Santa Fe. We live in the, we live in the high desert, and it's, uh, it's easy to forget sometimes. It, it is easy to forget, but water is so very important mm -hmm. to our lives here, to our health and well-being that we need to, we need to remind ourselves. All right. Awesome. So. We'll see you again soon then. Thank you. All right.